Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat um, some snowy fingers. Now this is um, it says limited edition, so you only get this around Christmas time. And here you see a picture of a snowman. <coughs> okay, and it's just on site. Just says snowy picture fingers, snowy fingers. And this has a best before date of June 2024, so it's well within date um, on this one. Also on the back, it's got um, a voucher if you have children, generally to go to the one of these um, events and get an induction. Um, as it's up to 50% off. Up to for on the day full priced adult and children entry tickets, so. You get a reduction to things like Legoland, Sea Life, um, Alton Towers, Warwick Castle. That's interesting. Okay, and other things. So right. Okay. Anyway, um, it says covered in white and milk chocolate. And well, that's pretty much that. It pretty much summarizes everything. And on the back says biscuits half coated with milk chocolate. So let's open it up and count the packet. It looks like normal fingers, apart from because like, you can buy these the milk chocolate only version all year round, okay? But this is a special version for Christmas. Where they put white chocolate on the top and milk chocolate on the bottom. I'm not sure if I've ever had this variety before. I've had fingers before where it's all milk chocolate, but not where it's got um, got white chocolate on the top. So let's try it. So I'm basically tasting both chocolates at the same time. Might just be where it is in my mouth. I think I can taste the white chocolate more than the milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. It also looks because I think they put more milk, more white chocolate on the milk chocolate. It's quite cool to try having them all at once with the biscuits. Um, normally, if I'm going to have white chocolate, which is quite rare now, I have it all on its own, or all milk chocolate on its own, or all dark chocolate on its own. Rarely, I have all three. I personally generally prefer dark chocolate. I know I'm rare, but there you go for a lot of things. In the middle, it's just basically biscuits. So, and getting the other one out. And the bottom thing is crisscross packet, this crisscross pattern. But apart from that, there's nothing that appears crispy about this apart from it's just white chocolate on top of. Um, and crisscross, it's just because generally this time of year it snows. Well, I'm not very snowy in Britain to be honest, and it hasn't. I don't think it's snowed well, it might have done very early on in the year, like, but it's not snowed recently, and it probably won't until next year. Um, Every year people in Britain try to dream of a white Christmas, which is essentially it's snowing on Christmas Day. But I don't think that will happen this year, truthfully. Maybe some parts of Britain, maybe Scotland, maybe, but, you know, it might be possible it's quite rare. But I don't think it will, not with this weather. It doesn't seem cold enough at the moment. So, okay. Do I like them? I think they're okay. I think I might prefer the normal ones, to be honest. Um, I 
thing, I'm not quite sure that milk chocolate and white chocolate mix up brilliantly in my opinion, but I know they do it sometimes for Easter eggs and other things, so that's a very expensive Easter egg from. Very expensive by my standards anyway, you know, uh, I'm talking about 20 or 30 pound Easter eggs, I'm not talking about like, you know, hundreds of pounds or thousands of pounds from millionaires or something, you know, so. So, anyway, I won't bore you guys. Um, let me show you again. Right, and, and you'll notice on the things it's curved, so. Right, okay, they cut the bottom is flat. And the rest of it is almost like a, a semicircle, but it's not quite because it's actually done more, it's more curved. I think. Or is it? I'm not sure. But anyway, I think it looks like from the side. It's a bit like a very small version of a sort of like hot dog type batch in terms of the shape, you know? Anyway guys, it's limited edition so you only get it at this time of year, I've got, I'm not sure if I've ever seen it before to be honest, um, I don't think I've eaten it before but I could be wrong because I'm sure somebody will find out, I did a video two years ago about it, now, I'm not saying I have, I don't think I have to be honest but I'm sure if I had somebody might find it and say you said you never had it and you did but to my not to my knowledge I don't know if I have this so there you go Cadbury limited edition snowy fingers it says covered in white and milk chocolate that's what it says and it says that um, you get 507 kcal per 100 grams and on here it's 115 grams so um, basically that means that um, um, So yeah, in other words, if you had four packets of this, four complete packets, that would be all you need for the whole day, apparently. And on the back, it's also got, um, and they haven't used the traffic light system, so they've done it in terms of purple. Normally, we have a traffic light system here, where people, where they put in, you know, the um, food. Um, it's basically how good it, that it is for you in terms of like sugars and salts and saturates and things. Mo a lot of companies use what they call the traffic light system with like um, red, green and and yellow or amber. But uh, this they have decided for whatever reason just to use shades of purple. I know you can't tell here but it is different shades of purple but it's difficult to tell here on camera. You probably just about so. And so, anyway, there you go, guys. Cadbury Snowy Fingers. Would I have them again? Probably, but I think I prefer the normal ones. I have had dark chocolate ones of these very, very rarely because they come out incredibly rarely. Um, but otherwise, I think I'd rather normally stick to the milk chocolate ones, but it's all milk chocolate. So I think, you know. Little one, maybe the other isn't so good in my opinion, but that's just me. Okay, so Snowy Fingers by Cadbury. Thanks for watching. Bye.